Hello, there is a great Elantra parked in a loading zone by the front entrance. It has a Florida license plate. That car needs to be removed immediately. Elantra parked by the loading zone by the front gate. Florida tag needs to be removed immediately. Hello everybody, there is a great Elantra by the loading zone by the front gate, Florida tag, needs to be removed immediately. Elantra with the Florida tag by the front gate needs to be removed immediately. Thank you. Gray Elantra by the front gate needs to be removed immediately. Florida tags, Gray Elantra by the front gate needs to be removed imme immediately. Thank you. Teams in the first race, Hisense USA, Georgia Tech, HKSA, UPS Express, and Accenture need to be at the marshalling area immediately. It's time to get going. So Hisense USA, Georgia Tech, UPS, and Accenture make your way to the marshalling, la marshalling area. Let's get the show on the road. All safety boat volunteers, please make your way to the dock immediately. All safety boat volunteers, make your way to the dock immediately. Meet Doug Smith down by the dock. Thank you. Would all volunteers and officials please report to their positions immediately. All volunteers and officials please report to their positions. Thank you.
Georgia Tech, please make your way to the marshalling area. Georgia Tech, make your way to the marshalling area. That's the uh, Georgia Tech HKSA. Make your way to the marshalling area so that we can get the first race started on time. Thank you. Can Barbara Hurley and Max Roberts meet Doug Smith at the base of the tower? Barbara Hurley, Max Roberts, please meet with Doug Smith at the base of the tower. Excuse me, Sam Roberts and Barbara Hurley, meet Doug Smith at the base of the tower. We are officially 10 minutes away from the first start. 10 minutes away from the first start, and the first race will be Hisense USA, Georgia Tech, HKSA, UPS Express, and Accenture. 10 minutes away from the first start.
Race two, will you please make your way to marshalling? That is NAAAP Atlanta, Asian Women, Watlao Sata Dama, and the Healing Dragons. Please make your way to marshalling. We are five minutes away from the first start, and the first race will be Hisense USA, Georgia Tech, HKSA, UPS Express, and Accenture.
We are officially three minutes to start. Three minutes to start. We are just mere seconds away from the start of the first race. Uh, we have a scratch in lane one, Hisense USA. In lane three will be Georgia Tech HKSA. Lane five, UPS Express. And lane seven, Accenture. The starter is calling the competitors to the start line and we'll be underway in just a few moments. And we have a start to the first race of the 19th annual Hong Kong Atlanta Dragon Boat Festival. It's hard to say who's off this, who's out in front at this point, but it looks like it could be lane three, Georgia Tech. No, sorry, I think it's UPS Express is coming out to a strong lead in the middle.
Here they are crossing the 100 meter mark with 100 meters to go and actually it looks like it's going to be lane 7, Accenture, pulling ahead with about 75 meters to go. They certainly do look to be the most in stroke together. And that's it. It's going to be lane seven, Accenture, coming across the finish line in first place, followed by lane five, UPS Express. And coming across the finish line now is lane three, Georgia Tech. If race number three would come down to marshalling, that's PepsiCo 2, AT&T Aspires, SACA Golden Dragon 2, and Georgia Tech Sprint CKC. Race number three, please make your way to marshalling. Coming up on the next race, race number two, in lane two, the NAAAP Atlanta, lane four, Asian women, lane six, Wat Lao Sata Dama, and lane eight, the Healing Dragons. We're just a minute or two away from the start of race number two. Teams in race number three should be in the marshalling area. AT&T Aspires, please make your way to the marshalling area. AT&T Aspires to the marshalling area.
And we have a start to the second race in lane two, NAAP Atlanta, lane four, Asian women, lane six, Watlao Satadama, and lane eight, the Healing Dragons. And wow, it looks like lane six has a ferocious stroke rate. Let me see. According to my stroke rate watch, I got them coming in at 110 strokes a minute. That is lane number six, Wat, Wat Lao Satadama, followed closely by lane number two, NAAP Atlanta. And lane number six is not holding off in the least they're going to go all the way to the finish line, coming across in first place, no doubt about it, followed closely by lane number two in AAAP Atlanta. And it looks like lane number eight will be coming in third place, the Healing Dragons, followed by lane number four, Asian Women. Good job to everybody. Fourteenth, sorry, the nineteenth annual Atlanta Hong Kong Dragon Boat Festival is brought to you by the Home Depot. Let's lay down a room full of savings. The Home Depot has quality tile, carpet, laminate, hardwood, and vinyl flooring, all at a guaranteed low prices. Check out all of their styles and varieties to get started on your new flooring project today. Visit HomeDepot.com/flooring for details. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Hello everybody. There are a couple of cars that need to be moved absolutely right away immediately. They need to be moved yesterday. One is a Honda Civic, blue Honda Civic with license plate BUJ5985. That's a blue Honda Civic with license plate BUJ. There is one more car that needs to be
Coming up next, we have race number three. In lane one, PepsiCo two. Lane five, SACA Golden Dragons two. And I believe that AT&T and Georgia Tech Sprint were both a scratch from this next race. So I believe there will only be two rate competitors in this race. And we have a start to race number three in lane one, PepsiCo two, and lane five, SACA Golden Dragons two. Both teams look to be very in sync, moving the boat together well, but it does appear that lane five will be coming out to a start, or sorry, a, a faster start than lane one. With lane five for the next race, please report to marshalling. Coming across the 50 meters to go, it's definitely going to be lane five, SACA Golden Dragons two. And they are looking very strong, very in sync, and that is the key to winning these races is being together and keeping the power up front, stroke rate high, but most importantly, being together. Crossing the finish line now is lane one, PepsiCo number two. We need racers in race number five to marshalling. That's Zaga, NACA Mac, Charlotte Fury, Laotian American Society.
I would like to remind teams that you do not necessarily need 20 paddlers per boat. You have to have a minimum of 12 paddlers. If you have 12 or more paddlers, you can race. So Charlotte Fury, if you have more than 12 paddlers, please return to marshalling and let's get you in a boat. Let's do a brand new day. Let's step away from the bland and let the color fly. Let's get to the one store with more number one choices and match this or this without using too much of this. Then let's crack open a can and get to it. Paint? No, let's do pow. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Glidden Duo starts at a new lower price of $25.46 a gallon. Next, we will have a full race in lane number two, AT&T, no texting while paddling. Lane number four, SunTrust Bank. Lane number six, LCKC Baby Dragons. And lane number eight, Tech Top. I would say don't let the name LCKC Baby Dragons fool you. These youngsters out there have an incredible strength to body weight ratio. And they seriously put up a good fight against some of the veteran teams that have been out here for several years. So keep an eye on the LCKC Baby Dragons. Race number five, Laotian American Society, please report to marshalling. Sorry, please report to the dock. Laotian American Society, please report to the dock for race number five. Would race number six please report to marshalling? That's Team Hatgad Lloyd, Grizzlies, Clemson University, and UPS Expedited. Please report to marshalling. That is race number six.
And we have a start to race number four in lane two, AT&T, no texting while paddling. Lane number four, SunTrust Bank. Lane number six, LCKC Baby Dragons. And lane number eight, Tech Top. From this angle, it looks like it's a close race between lane number two, AT&T, and lane number six, LCKC Baby, Baby Dragons. It is still a tight race from this angle. It looks like LCKC Baby Dragons could be out ahead a little bit. They certainly are the most in stroke. And I told you to keep an eye on them. Their strength to body weight ratio is just out of this world. And yes, it is going to be the LCKC Baby Dragons coming across the line in first place, followed very closely by AT&T, no texting while paddling. It looks like lane number four, SunTrust Bank, is going to be coming across in third place, followed by lane number eight, Tech Top. Coming up next is lane number five, sorry, race number five, with Zaga in lane number one, and then in lane number seven, Laotian, Laotian American Society. I'd like for race number seven to start reporting to the marshalling area. Race number seven to marshalling area. So up next will be race number five in lane one, Z-A-G-A, -A, and lane seven, Laotian American Society. In race number six, I need lanes two and four reporting to the marshalling and dock area. That's team Habgad Lloyd and team Grizzlies. One of the great sponsors of the Atlanta Hong Kong Dragon Boat Festival is the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks are excited to host Asian Community Night on Tuesday, November 18th, against Jeremy Lin and the Los Angeles Lakers. To purchase tickets, please contact Ryan Collar at 404-878-3714. There is a black Honda Odyssey with license plate CBP9770. It needs to be moved from its spot in the parking lot immediately. It is blocking an exit. That is a black Honda Odyssey CPB9770.
Race number six, lane four, the Grizzlies. Please make your way to marshalling. Race six, lane number four, the Grizzlies. Make your way to marshalling. And looks like there's a little bit of steering issues going out there. Lane five, Charlotte Fury coming very close to Laotian American Society. Um, st still coming right. They are certainly have the most power and are the most together, but they have uh, changed lanes quite a few times during the short 250 meter race, but they will come across in first place. Second place is up for grabs. It's gonna be a tight one here. Unofficially, I would call it lane seven, Laotian American Society, followed by lane one, Zaka. Up next, we're gonna have race number six, Team Hot God Lloyd in lane two, in lane four to Grizzlies, lane six, Clemson University, and lane eight, UPS Expedited. If racers in race number eight would start making their way to the marshalling area, at this point, we need to have all racers in race number six getting into the boats and all racers in race number seven in the marshalling area.
So would racers from race eight please make your way to marshalling? Racers from race number eight, that would be the Night Dragons, ZF Gainesville, Team Wesley Phoenix, and EY. The Atlanta Hong Kong Dragon Boat Festival is brought to you by AT&T. AT&T, mobilizing your world. Race number seven, lane number seven. The winners, please come to marshalling. Race number seven, lane number seven. The winners, please come to marshalling.
And we have a race, the uh, race number six. And team in lane two, Team Hap got Lloyd. Lane four, the Grizzlies is a scratch. But in lane six, we have Clemson University. And in lane eight, UPS Expedited. It looks like lane two is out to a